what's up guys welcome to episode number 60 i think 60 something i don't even remember now but of our islanders gym mode so in last episode we went to the stanley cup finals only to lose in seven games to the winnipeg jets um as you can see the playoff tree here basically what happened is we beat the Sens in seven games in round one then we beat the buffalo sabers in five and then we beat carolina in six and we went to the Stanley Cup Finals only to lose in seven games. And game seven was a one goal game only, I think. Um, it's been a while since I've played. Luke Green, I think, was the only guy that scored that game too. Yeah, it was a one nothing loss in Winnipeg. So that really sucks. But hopefully we can make it back to the Stanley Cup Finals next year. We've made it to the Cup Finals twice in the last five years, I think. We've won once. We've been to the Cup Finals three times now, so that's not too bad. Oh, well, we've lost twice, which is kind of a bit of a bummer. But as you can see here, we've been the Prince of Wales um, trophy winner two times in the last five years. The other teams that have won recently are Carolina twice as well and Columbus. So, anyways, in this episode, it's going to be obviously the off season like we usually do. <clears throat> We're going to be doing the draft. I think it's the 2000. Yeah, it's 2029 draft. And then we will be doing, <clears throat> sorry my throat's a bit husky, <clears throat> we'll be doing then like obviously free agency and contracts and stuff like that, so, <clears throat> one second guys, I just need to clear my throat, okay guys, so let's start up the draft, um, I don't know what we're really looking for at the draft, we have some good uh, defensive prospects I think, and we obviously have our good team so far, so, Let's just look at scouted players. I forget where we were supposed to draft. Obviously, well, probably 29th, right? Unless we traded away our first. Yeah, we're 29th. So let's see who's supposed to go in this first round. Late in the first round. Jamnov. We don't really. Well, we do need a left winger eventually to replace some. Um, Dalcoli when Dalcoli retires. That guy might be decent. Um, there's another left winger as well. This guy might be nice, Taylor Eastwood, left wing sniper, 18 years of age, and he's an exact top six forward. Um, his discipline's at 74, so he's pretty disciplined for an 18 year old. So yeah, we're just gonna leave it at that and get this draft started. So let's just see who are the top five in 2029, even though they're all just made up players. So the first overall pick is a grinder, a book boom. He goes to the Philadelphia Flyers. The second pick goes to Montreal, and it's A. Malholtra, right wing, two way forward, another medium elite. <clears throat> Third is J. Chen. He goes to Dallas. He's a center, two way forward, so that's nice for Dallas. And the fourth overall pick always seems to be a, a mess up pick, but high top 6D, Art Kolar's offensive defenseman. So that guy might be like Ryan Pulock that. Uh, Washington just picked up, so he might grow to like really high 80s. Um, and then number five is a high top nine for T Beta, so it looks like maybe the draft is dropping off now. Maybe not. Oh, wow, that's a good steal at sixth overall. Defensive defenseman, medium elite Kravchenko goes to Nashville. Uh, let's just sim to our pick. So the Jets have made a trade at the deadline, that's kind of weird considering they just won the cup. Um, there's also been some other transactions, we'll check that in a bit. So, let's see, is that left winger guy still there? No, it looks like he's got taken, who did he get taken by? What was his name? Was it this Eastwood guy? Yeah, I think it was that Eastwood guy, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was that Eastwood guy, that sucks. Oh, and there was a goalie with the last name Dal Coley, that would have been fun to pick him up. And he was a medium elite too. Because then, Michael Dal Coley's brother could have played for us, but we have still, um, McMillan and Nett, so, but there's still this left wing power forward guy, I don't know if he's going to be that good, um, let's see, his slap shot accuracy, none of the stats are accurate, right wingers, K Prust, Kevin Prust, 19, no, I don't want to get a 19 year old, Jonas Flood, he's an AHL top 6 forward, at least, well that's what it says, he's 18 center power forward, that's pretty nice, but we have some good center prospects already, Howard Vigetti, 18 as well, 
and Daniel Duchesne. That guy might be pretty good. Most of his accurate stats are pretty good, like his discipline 77, offensive awareness 77, faceoff 73, strength 76, and speed is in 80. We have a lot of center prospects, but I'm going to still bring this guy in because he looks the best available. Medium top 6 forward, so what uh, Winnipeg gets. See if it was worse than ours. High 7th D. So yeah, I guess it's good that we didn't go with Vigetti. Okay, so let's sim to user pick. We'll do our second round pick and then we'll sim the rest of the draft. If we have a second. I don't even remember if we traded away anything. I think we might have. Yeah, we traded away our second this year. So we have a third round pick now. So we'll do that and then we'll auto draft the rest. So Jay Wingles, high bottom 6 forward, right wing sniper. That guy might not be that bad. His accurate stats, does he have any accurate stats? No, but a lot of high accuracy almost. Another center playmaker, don't really need. Devin Mills, this guy's 18 and he's unknown. Interesting. Um, Carl Melnick. Uh, eh. Yeah, I think I want to go with... Is it Wingles? Yeah, I think I want to go with Wingles. I wonder how Mills is going to turn out though. Medium no top 9-4, that's not too bad. Considering the first one above that was a bottom 6. So yeah, let's just see who Winnipeg went with again. So they went with Simmons. Let's just see. I want to see what that defenseman was. Medium top six defenseman. So eh, that's not too bad, I guess. Okay, so we're sim the rest of the draft, and we'll check the trades that happened at the draft. So the computer drafted us: Jay Nilstorp, um, Jay Lieb, D Redenbach. So we got another Redenbach. We gave away our last red buck because he didn't want to play with us anymore. And Live Valley. So that's our 2029 draft picks. Hopefully some of them turn out to be good players for us. So let's sim to the resign stage. Okay, so who do we need to resign this year? Hopefully nobody too huge. <coughs> Okay, so UFAs. Wait, no, let's just check our unsigned players first. So, what rookies have grown? So, Nilstorp's a 72 out of the draft. That's pretty good, but I don't think he's going to grow much because he's a low top 9. So, that's pretty nice, though, to start off. And then Robotai from last year's draft, he's up to a 72, so he could play in the AHL this year, probably. Same with Vanden. We have a lot of center prospects, it looks like. Look at this, all these centers. Goche is ready definitely for down in the minors. Uh our center power forward guys, so that guy is gonna be good. <clears throat> Tobias Lantner. Yeah, we have a lot of center prospects. Keith Messi, I see. We're probably gonna have to trade some of these guys away if they all try to make the NHL at once. Uh Duchesne, our pick from this year. He's a sixty nine out of the draft, so that's not too bad. And Bernier from last year. Yeah, is a 69. That's not actually that bad considering he's only 21. So, um, let's see from also from this year, Redenbach's a low top nine. Daryl Redenbach. Um, Wingles. This was our third round pick, 64. And that's too bad. Lay Valley's an HL top two defenseman, and no goalie prospects. Okay. So let's go to our contracts now. So. <clears throat> we don't have that much RFAs. We only have Jay Clark and Helena, so those are two HL guys. Not too bad. No RFA goalies either. UFAs, we only have to sign Gore. We have to sign Scrimes. Adams, we could potentially release. Dom Dawson Holt, we can release as well if we need to. Payer, we could resign for the HL club maybe. Welsh, we could release because we need some of our center spots for our prospects. Blair can be released as well, probably, and same with Esolivo. Yeah, a lot of these type of guys. Um, any UFA goalies? Yeah, Connor Ingram, we could probably resign maybe for one more year if we want to. Gallant, we could resign for the AHL, and Marku, we could resign for the AHL. So that's the contracts that we have to do. So I'll see you guys back up here in a bit when I resign mostly everybody. Okay, guys, so we should have most everybody back. I did release Gallant, though, because he wanted a one-way deal, 
which I'm not giving him, so. But we got Scrimes back, we got Gore back, we got Clark back, Poye, Robitaille, some of those prospect guys, Shane, Goche, Payer, Marku, Jaffrey, Tootin, Nilstorp, Vanninen, Hellness. Ingram is back for a year. Let's just check our contracts again. There's a few more players I think I have to sign. So let's see, UFAs. Oh yeah, those guys. Okay, so Dawson Holt is... Let's see, he's still listed as a depth forward, but I don't think... He, was he losing morale because of his ice time? No, he wasn't. But was he even in the lineup? I think he might have been. I'm going to think... Yeah, I think I need to get Adams back, but Adams wants a lot of money, and I don't think he's going to grow much more. You know what? We're going to release Adams. So thank you for your time here, Adams. Um, Lemieux, this prospect guy, he's not going to turn out to be anything, so, and Dawson Holt, let's get him back at a one-year deal at $1 million, if we can, yeah, one year at $1 million, just because he's been pretty good for us in playoff situations at least a few years ago, and that's, so. Yeah, and that's all the contracts we have to do left is just him. And then we'll go to free agency and see what we need to um, pick up. Since we just released Adams, I think we need a defenseman. Dawson Holt decides to sign with us. Good job, buddy. Okay, let's send him to free agency, see what's available. Our stats are looking pretty good, though. 90 offense, 90 goalie, goaltending, and 87 defense. So pretty all around. Uh, well, we're all around pretty good, so... Let's see what's available. And oh yeah, uh, I meant to say this earlier, but whoever's been just disliking every single one of my GM modes, <laughs> why are you being such a hater? Like honestly, I don't understand why. Because like literally every single upload from like, um, like when we went to the Stanley Cup Finals, all these people are just, or this one guy is just disliking all my videos, I think. Because it's always just a one dislike only. So, But if you enjoy these videos, be sure to give a thumbs up. Because it means a lot, that sort of stuff. So, um, anyways. Let's see. So, we needed a defenseman to replace Adams. So, there is Omar. He's 85, though. And he's listed as a top four. I don't know if we have room on our top four or not. Um, Brady Shea. That's not too bad. He's 35, though. He's kind of close to retirement. Brandstrom is 83 as well. Top four. Any top six defensemen. There's some. Pedersen. See, we can find one of these guys. Beagle is only 27. Hmm. Let's see their categories. Who's better on defensive stuff? Because we need a penalty killer. Kind of got 88 stick checking. But not a very good defensive awareness. Really good stick checking. This guy also has the exact same thing, but his stick checking is a 92. So, yeah, we're going to go at Beagle because he's got a four-star defensive stat. Um, we're going to give him a contract for two years at 5.8. And we still have a lot of cap space. But I don't know what else we need. I'll check our depth chart in a sec. Yeah, let's just check our depth chart because maybe that will help us. Wait, do we have to go to trade? Yes, we do. Okay. So, yeah, we need to find out what we need for this team. Our depth chart should be pretty decent. So, we need a lot of left wingers, apparently. We only have four left wingers, but we, a lot of them are playing down in the minors. So, our centers are playing in the minors. So, we could use centers as left wingers, but we should still sign a left winger. And we need a goalie down there for the minors. I forgot about that since we released Gallant. So, yeah, let's find an HL starting goalie or backup goalie for Mark Hu. Um Yeah, so we need a left winger. Delisley's available, but I don't think we have... He's listed as a second liner. Is there anyone that's listed like as a third line left wing? Uh, man, Gio Payne's list is a depth forward, and Tyler Bertuzzi, oh, they're both pretty old, though. Ryan Grob, 32 as well. A lot of old guys. Oh, there's this Grice guy. We could bring a Grice to New York again. Third line scoring forward. 
But he's basically like the same type of thing as Dawson Holt, isn't he? Let's see his stats. Not a very good defensive player. But he is good at skating, shooting, and puck skills. So this guy could be pretty good. Yeah, let's just bring him in for... Maybe we could get him in for a one-year deal at $4 million. And if we don't have the room for him, maybe we'll trade somebody else. I don't know. And we need an HL goalie. That's our last thing that we need. So for goaltending, is there anybody listed as a minor league starter? There's a few actually minor starters. Yeah, minor starting goalie, Wade Pietrangelo. That sounds good enough for me. And he's an 81, which is actually not too bad. But he wants a one-way deal only. Anybody want a two-way deal? Um, Mick, whatever it is, it Marmalin. He wants a one-way deal. A lot of these guys do because they're 80 overalls and stuff like that. Dolan. Yeah, a lot of them want the same type of con Is there anyone that just wants a, an AHL contract? T-Lane, two-way deal. Yeah, okay, we'll get you back. Or not you back, but you for the HL club. And yeah, that should be good. So let's see if we get all those type of players that we wanted. Hopefully we do. So we did get Lucas Gray, so that's nice. He says that he's humbled that we gave him a lucrative contract, but whatever. I've helped him out, set him up financially, apparently. So no problem, buddy. And we got Rich Beagle, so that's nice, too. And Tiny Lane is there. So it's kind of weird because... Wait, Tiny Lane, Tiny Lane. Yeah, I think it was in this GM mode. Yeah, I think it was in this GM mode or a different GM mode of mine. I drafted a guy named Tiny Lane as well, but this guy was a four, not a goaltender. So I don't know what's up with that. It might have been our team. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's sim to next season already. And then we'll set up our lines. And then I guess that would be this episode already. How long has it been? 20 minutes already. Well, but then again, I have to cut out some parts of it, which is me resigning people. So yeah, we'll edit our lines and set up for next season, which will be next episode. So. Hopefully we can make it uh, farther than last year, which means winning that one extra game to win the Stanley Cup. Because also in the Jets series, we were winning a game and uh, with like less than a minute left, they tied it up and then they won it in overtime. If they would not have tied it up, we would have won the Stanley Cup, honestly, because we would have um, won the next game as well, I think it was, and then we would have won the series. So just because of that one goal by Scott Kosmichuk uh, kind of, Pushed us over the edge. So hopefully we could be better defensively on in last minutes of playoff games and regular season, I guess, too. It should be almost there, considering it's been going for quite a while now. Okay, so we're up here at the start of the preseason. Let's edit our lines. Our stats look the same as last year, pretty much. So let's see, go to roster moves. Doesn't look like some of our HL guys are growing, though, like Lucas Winchester and that. It's kind of annoying. So, who should be in the NHL? So, Alcock and Dexter could come up. And who could go down? Definitely Hellness. And, let's see, Westcott. Yeah, Westcott probably. Yeah, we have to use, like, Winchester's, like, some depth, I think. At Lions. And let's go best lines for now. Wait, what? Who's scratched? Though? So, Shing scratch, that's fine. How about right wingers? I don't want Dawson Holt scratch. I think Dawson Holt had decent face-offs, but do these guys have good face-offs? 73, not very good. And 71, that's decent, but it's not the best. I think, though, if I remember correctly, Holt had decent face-offs. 70. Um, we'll put him in there, and let's. We'll probably move him to the wing now. Xavier Alcock was 71, and Dexter had the best faceoff, so we'll move Dexter to the center role on this fourth line. And our third line looks fine. Wait, let's just see who scratched first before we say that. 
yeah, our scratch players are fine. So basically what our team looks like, Dal Coley's dropping off a lot because I know he usually retires at 35, so that's not good. He's down to an 86, playing with Flaherty and Kudrak, so that's our first line. And we got Josephson, who we could potentially move to like the top role almost because, yeah, eventually. But he's with Scrimes and Ramsey on the second line, and then, wait, actually we should move Gore up. But wait, Ramsey's got better shooting, I think, and skating and puck skills, right? Uh, yeah, we'll put Ramsey still on the second line because he's a sniper to play along with another sniper and a playmaker. Third line is Gore since he's a grinder with Lucas Braun and Lucas Grice. So we got two Lucases playing together, both German probably too. Uh, and then Dawson Holt with Steve Dexter and Xavier Alcock. So this is Steve Dexter's first year in the NHL. We drafted him three years ago. Second round pick. He's still got two years left on his minor league deals too. So hopefully he grows a lot. Defensively, we need to maybe put some more. We don't even have a depth defenseman. Wow, well, that's not good. So, But our defensive core, Pilock looks like he's dropping off too. He's an 87 now. So that a lot of our players are getting closer to retirement. Matthias Grellinger is still an 85, but he's 30. So, Cold Day is with Beagle, and Tarasov is with Scatcherd. Goaltending, as always, is McMillan with Connor Ingram. So, yeah, McMillan didn't grow out to be what I wanted him to. 85 is not the best, but whatever. And then HL, let's just go best lines for a second. And Gochi is actually up to a 73, so that's nice. And Garnett's a 79, so this guy might be able to play in the NHL next season. Um, let's just make sure all the good center prospects that we want are in. I know some of them will be Yeah, he could be scratched since he's a bottom 6 forward prospect. And Valenza could be obviously scratched because he's not even going to be playing for us at all. Right wingers, everybody's in the lineup. So Dempsey, Jaffrey, and Payer, and then Helmus. Yeah, let's just see if anybody's scratched for left wingers. Nope. But Nilstorp is usually a centerman, but this guy's gonna be pretty good, I think, for the most part. Like he might get up to like an 82 or something, at the most. Um, defensively, uh, let's see. Everybody's in the lineup. Oh yeah, why is Rory Winquist sent back down? One year left. We should bring up Winquist, I think. Yeah, let's go to roster moves. We'll bring Winquist up and send down uh, whoever that was. Scatcherd, I think, was. Yeah, it was Scatcherd. Because I don't want Scatcherd to be on the team, considering he's only at 76. Barnes is up, actually up to a 79. High HL top two defenseman, but I don't know if he's ready for the NHL. Winquist was with the team last year, so... We'll bring back up Winquist because I want him to grow. Considering we drafted him, I think, kind of high. Um, Somers will move you up and Jenner up. Ralph Jenner. <laughs> Dimitriev is actually up to a 78, so he's growing pretty decently for a high 7th defenseman. Alanin can be scratched, I guess. Yeah. Shantz as well. And Scatcherd will put... Wait, should we put Scatcherd? Poi is only a medium seventh defenseman, but Scatcherd's close to well he's at his peak pretty much, but we'll put Scatcherd in for now. Extras I don't even know what to put for extras. Let's just put whoever's the first person on there. Ralph Jenner. Okay, and shootout. Shootout we'll just give yeah, we'll give Ralph Jenner, I guess, a chance in the shootout. And then goalies down there. Tiny Lane's the starter. And Leon Arnold's is the backup. So, oh, well, actually, Marku should be the backup. Marku's not even growing at all. He's, like, stayed at 71 since he's been drafted. Okay, and now the last thing we need to do is just put in Winquist. I don't know why Winquist is only 79. On there, that looks good, and we are good. So yeah, that's our team for this year, guys. Pretty much the same as last year, except for a few minor changes. Hopefully, we could go back to that Stanley Cup Finals. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, I guess that's gonna do it for this episode. So next episode, we'll start off this, or we'll 
do the entire season simulation like always. And hopefully next episode will be the playoffs. So thanks guys for watching. See you guys next time.